Hiya and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are joining me for the first time today. My name is Lucy, normally I am filming some type of makeup content. Today this video is a little bit different. If you have been here for a while or watched any of my older videos, you may recognise this handsome chap next to me. Hello. This is my boyfriend Callum. We are actually going tomorrow on our one way ticket to Asia. We're planning to backpack around Asia. We're not really sure of our return date yet, but it will be sometime later in the year. And I have decided that I am going to be vlogging our adventures. We have been watching so many Countless travel people. videos. We've been watching packing videos, pack with me for Asia, backpackers videos. And I just thought, I want to do that too, so here we are. In front of me is laid out all of the stuff that I'm going to be taking on our one-way ticket to Asia. It's actually quite crazy when you think that is my life for the next however many months. Without further ado, I am just going to jump right in, show you basically what I'm packing, how I'm packing it, and everything else to do with packing for Asia. And what bag Asia. we're taking, because we actually have the same bag. <laughs> <laughs> Why was that funny? Because I was gonna jump, I was gonna start with that. Oh. You just jumped in. Anyway, the bag. <laughs> so I always skip past this bit, to be honest, in the videos that I've watched, but if anyone is interested in which backpack we are taking with us, we both actually have the same one. It's the Mountain Warehouse 60 plus 20 litre backpackers backpack. It also actually comes with a detachable day bag which I have here at the minute full of my stuff ready to go on the plane with me so that's which you can yeah that's 20 liters this is 60 liters and you basically can zip it onto the front of your bag so you can carry like two bags in one it's actually a really clever concept I'm not really going to go into detail because it's really not that interesting it's just a massive backpack but it opens up in here this is the main compartment inside there you can also open it into the bottom section which you can access via an extra zip down here the way that I have been sort of mock packing my bag at the minute is clothes in the top and all other like toiletries and random miscellaneous stuff in the bottom and I think that that's working well for me at the minute. I've decided just to film my bag because mine and Callum's bags are actually very similar other than obviously it's his clothes in his bag and my clothes in my bag. And there's a couple of like joint toiletries which I have split between our bags because Callum naturally being a male generally packs less than I have. <laughs> You can go now, Cherub. You can just see my little helper on the helper on the side. Okay, so I'm gonna start by just showing you the clothes, which actually is really not that much, I think, for not knowing how long we're gonna be away and sort of what we're gonna be getting up to. But I've basically based this around all of the other backpackers videos, packing videos that I've watched and kind of used that as a guidance, which is kind of why I wanted to film this video because I hope that some people might do the same. At the minute, the packing cubes I have got for my travels are one, two, and three, which I'm about to pack with my bikinis. Three bags. That's it, three bags of cloves. It doesn't feel enough. I actually had four at one point and I have managed to squeeze it down to three, which fits much better into my backpack. The packing cubes, for anyone wondering, these gray ones, they are from a set on Amazon. I can link them if you want them to be linked. And the black ones, which looks like this, these have actually come from Aldi. I did buy these back in the summer and anyone who shops at Aldi knows that if you find something once in there, you're probably never gonna find it in there again because the Aldi middle section always changes okay so bikinis I again am basing this off of other people's experiences and recommendations a lot of people who have been to Asia or who or who I know are currently in Asia say that you basically live your life in swimwear so I have taken that and ran with it I have actually got one two three four five six seven bikinis and two swimsuits one of my swimsuits is a long one which I'm hoping to do some surfing or some scuba diving in um, I do also get quite an allergy in the sun sometimes. It comes up on my chest and on my arms. So I thought having something like this will obviously protect me a little bit more on the days where I'm feeling a bit itchy and rashy. I won't bore you with the details of every single bikini that I have with me, but I'll just briefly show you that they're all quite different. I've got, got a plain black one here, um, a patterned one, which is actually a strapless, like, boob tubey one from Primark, a nice navy blue one, a one with cherries on it, this patterned, funky tie-dye looking thing, and then a snake print one, and an orange one as well. A few moments later. And then in this packing cube as well, I have got two cover-ups. 
One of them is just this plain sort of black mesh dress, which will go really nicely over swimwear when I'm on the beach or on like a boat or something like that. And then the other one is literally just a blue sarong, which I'm also hoping can double up as like a top, you know, when you like tie a bandeau top and wear it. So yes, that is literally all of my swimwear. I'm just gonna start to put them back in the packing cube, figure out the best way to pack them and see how I get on. I'm sure every single person also knows this trick already, but really the best way to pack things, especially into your small packing cubes, is to roll them as tight as you possibly can. I've just found that this way it maximizes the space in your packing cubes and it just means you can fit a lot more in than you thought you probably could. So the good thing about these packing cubes as well is that although that's sort of the bulk of my swimwear, I've got a couple more to squeeze in, there's little gaps along the edges, I'm not sure how well you can see that there, but what I'm also going to just chuck into this packing cube because there's space is some of my headwear, so I have got two different like bandana headband scarf things which again fold up so small that they're not, they're not necessary but um, if they fit in the bag, they're not exactly taking up much room. So I'm going to fold those up and just put those in those cracks down the side. And finally, my bucket hat, which I think is probably going to be one of my very quickly essential items. It is a reversible one. Where should I get this from? Rome. Yeah, I think it was in the street market in Rome. And it's butterflies and it's pink on one side and then black on the other, which is just going to be perfect. So I'm going to squeeze that on the top. And then that is my swimwear packing cube done. Okay, on to my tops packing cube. So I have got in here seven crop top situations and I've got two t-shirts but I have also got another t-shirt that's going to be coming on the plane with me. So 10 tops in total. I've also got in this packing cube two pairs of pyjamas. I've gone with like sleeveless like vest type of pyjamas because I know that obviously in Asia it's going to be very very hot. I also heard someone say in a packing video that it was a really good idea to take a little dressing gown if you can fit it into your bag. When we are staying in the hostels and I get up in the morning I don't really want to walk around in my pyjamas all the time so I just thought I've got this small little like satin silk robe and I've managed to pack it up really small so that is also coming with me just so I can feel a little bit more of a home comfort whilst I'm away. I also have in here just a like floaty gym vest. I don't know if there's going to be much exercise going on but in terms of like hiking it's obviously a really floaty lightweight material and it's also a quick dryer so if I am going to be sweating in any activities it's just a good little top to have with me. And that is my tops. On to my third and final clothes packing cube. This is my bottoms and I think I also managed to squeeze my socks and my underwear, well some of them in here as well, but for the most part is bottoms and dresses I believe. At the minute I have literally only four pairs of shorts with me which I am now just suddenly thinking I don't know if I want to pack like a safety pair and just put another pair in. I'm gonna see how I get on. If I have room, I might put another pair in. But at the minute, all I have is a gray pair of cycling shorts, a black pair of cycling shorts, um, some floaty, comfy, like jogger style shorts, and then just one pair of denim, which will go with most of the tops in like an evening. I also have got one evening style dress. It's just like a longer floaty satiny fabric kind of dress. I thought if we were doing like a nice date night or something, you know, Valentine's Day will be coming up or whatever. I just thought I have one nice dress that I can sort of dress up a bit in. Oh, I also have a plain pair of black beach shorts. These are just very, very old Primark ones. If they get ruined, I'll throw them away. They're not really that precious. And I also have my all-in-one play suit. I wore this in Vegas and it is actually the comfiest thing. This one is from Pretty Little Thing. It's just black ribbed. So I know it is gonna get quite hot because it is black, but it's a really comfy, stretchy fabric. So I thought maybe if we went on like a walk or something, that's quite a good option of something to pack. 
in all of the little gaps in this perky cube I'm also just going to stuff my socks I think I said I had about 10 pairs of socks because I am also wearing sandals a lot of the time as well so I didn't overdo it on the sock front and also socks are so easy to get hold of if I needed more of them so I've got about 10 pairs of socks and I'll just wear those on loop whenever I'm wearing my trainers and that if it's gonna zip up is my bottoms slash socks slash dresses slash bras <laughs> packing cube aka everything else that i haven't managed to fit in all of the other cubes okay that is now clothes out of the way i'm just gonna vaguely show you the shoes i'm taking with me as well again don't really need to go into detail shoes is totally your discretion i feel because a lot of packing videos and uh, backpackers that we've watched have said all you need is trainers and sandals and that's it it, um, which essentially is all I'm gonna have with me but I've decided to just switch it up a little bit so I actually bought myself for Christmas this year a nice pair of Birkenstocks everyone who has ever had a pair of Birks will know comfiest shoes on planet earth especially when you're going to be wearing them in hot climates they literally like mold to your foot so there's no rubbing no uncomfortableness like literally just best shoes ever so I have got my Birkenstocks and they will be coming with me. I also am just putting them in this little um, shoe bag which came in that grey packing cube set from my Amazon order. My mum has also given me one of her pairs of Haviana flip flops to take with me. Again, everyone who has ever had Havianas has just said they are the best form of flip flop, so comfy and durable, which is one of the main things. My main trainers that are coming with me as well are just these Nike ones. I don't even remember. Oh, they are called the Nike Free Runs. I actually bought these when I started my new job back in like 2016, and I only really ever wore them to work. I've not really worn them for like much else, um, but these are going to be my main pair of sturdy walking exercising trainers and because I have now taken some clothes out of my bag I had some extra room and I have decided also to take my black converse trainers I'm thinking more along the lines of in the evenings if I wanted to go to a party on the beach or something um, I don't really want to wear those ugly walking trainers if they're wet or if they're stinky <laughs> I just thought it's a good idea to have another pair of trainers these will not be the ones that I go for walks or hikes or activities activities in because obviously they are not the comfiest of shoe to do that in so yeah those are also coming with me so in total I have got four pairs of shoes two sandals and two trainers and I think that that is going to be perfect for me on to my miscellaneous objects I'm going to start with the biggest one of them all and a lot of you are going to be like that is so unnecessary but this is my toiletries bag so a lot of the packing videos that i watched the people were taking tiny little wash bags with just like a couple of soaps and a couple of hair bits and whatnot i've decided to basically go really extra on the toiletries the reason being because i feel like toiletries are your home comforts when you use a certain brand or a certain product and you know it and you love it i feel like it's quite a big switch to go out to a new country and then just like have to trust all the products in that new country I am well aware as well that all of these products that I'm taking with me are gonna run out so I've got a couple of like baby shampoo and conditioners which will take two uses and they'll be gone and then I can throw them away so all of this it looks very very packed at the minute but I know that this is very quickly gonna be cleared out so I'm not that precious about it at the minute so yeah that is basically my toiletries bag it is heavy it is big and bulky but the idea is once it starts to clear out a little bit I can just put everything else in it so that at least then I've got like everything in one place. A couple of other bits which I would really super recommend for you guys to grab if you are planning on going backpacking is a microfiber towel. I actually do have two of them. So I did get this bigger one. It's still not massive, but this one was from um, a shop called Blacks in our local town. Saves you having to bring a big towel with you for when you're in the hostels and showering and whatnot. I then also have a very super, super, super tiny one which comes in this tiny little travel case. This is is gonna be my beach microfiber towel so this will come in my everyday bag with me it looks like this it is quite small but just to like wash your body off or wash your hair um, it's gonna be absolutely perfect and that will just go really small into my everyday bag I know I sound like a broken record but another thing that I saw in a lot of packing videos and tips and tricks videos was to bring your own little tote bag I have literally a million of these tote bags I don't know where they all come from but I have loads of them in my car people have said this is really handy for when you're in a 
hostel, if you're on like a top bunk, you can take a tote bag with all your essentials for like bedtime, your chargers and your charger leads and your toothbrush and stuff up to your bed with you um, so that you don't have to go rustling through your big bag like in the morning or whatever. So I thought that was a really good idea. And again, it folds up so small, it's hardly using any space or room. So I've decided to take that with me. That's a really good tip as well. Another essential is just a pack a mac coat, something you can fold down really small. I have heard that when you go on the morning hikes, it gets really super cold up at the top of the mountains, even in the really hot places in Asia. Um, so I've just got a little pack away mac. I don't even know where this came from. I found it in the downstairs cupboard. Also as well, it goes without saying, when it's raining, you're gonna want a mic, uh, I was gonna say microfiber then. You're gonna want a waterproof coat with you just to keep yourself dry. So yeah, definitely if you can, take like a pack mac coat with you. Two pairs of sunglasses. Um, Callum has also got sunglasses that I can put on if I need to, but these are my key Australia ones. I kind of didn't wanna take a nice pair of sunglasses, but I have decided I'm going to, and I'm just gonna really take care of them because I actually love these ones and they're really good quality sturdy ones as well. So I can rely on the fact that they hopefully will not be breaking. And then I just have have another pair which looks like this I actually love these so much they're just like aviator style and they've got like little colored gems on the outsides of them again sunglasses something so easily accessible to buy out there if you ran out of sunglasses or you broke them or you wanted to get a new pair so easy to get but I'm only taking two pairs to start with I have a tiny tiny little travel size umbrella again for those rainy days in rainy season in Thailand and Asia it is pretty chaotic I've just decided this is super small and it does go really well into my backpack so I'm taking that with me for when it is peeing down with rain and we are on the move. I also bought a pack of these um, fold up hangers. I really don't know how often we're going to use them but I thought when you're washing your clothes if you're drying something on like a clothing line or you want to hang it up to dry it's just a really good little thing to have with you and they literally fold down so compact. Another thing is this little silicone plug stopper thing that goes in the sink when you're doing your washing on the go if you wanted to just quickly wash your underwear or wash a t-shirt in the sink this basically just goes over the little hole in the sink why can I not think of the terms for anything and it would just stop the water getting out so that's just another thing which I heard was a good thing to take in Callum's bag as well we are taking two of these Dr Beckman travel washes again probably not an essential item um could just use like soap but I've just decided once they're gone then we can bin them and they're not really a nuisance to us but yeah if you're doing your washing in the sink in a hostel or something just to good little travel detergent to take with you and they come in these tiny little bottles. I've also got two of these, one for Callum and one for me, but it's just one of these little waterproof phone pouches that can go in the sea with you. So it's just like one of those airtight sealed ones and you put your phone inside and you can still record and use your phone when you're in the water. If we were like scuba diving or snorkeling or something like that, definitely not essential as well, but I've decided to take a tiny little travel sized jewelry box with me. Um, I really am not gonna have all that much jewelry with me because I'm actually quite nervous about like losing things especially the ones that are quite valuable to me but I've just got some cheap little like jewelry in here that you know if it breaks it's not the end of the world but just to keep it all safe I've got this tiny little travel size jewelry pouch and it's hardback as well so it shouldn't be um, damaging anything inside of it I've got a second phone case and I love this one because this one is one of those lanyard one with a strap and I thought I can put my phone in it so that when I'm taking pictures I can just do this and then I'm hands-free with my phone it's just such a cute little idea oh my god totally forgot Got, but this is all my underwear in here. I have my socks in that other packing cube that I showed you, but all of my pants have somehow managed to fold up really small and fit into this tiny little packing cube. And then whenever I need it, this will also act as like a little wash bag as well. So that's um, really compact and small. Jungle formula, DEET spray is obviously an essential. You don't wanna be catching malaria or anything of the sort. Also just mosquito bites in general are horrible. So yeah, definitely make sure you've got plenty of DEET spray with you. You can buy it out when you're in Asia, but people say not to trust it just because of the properties aren't as good as the ones you can buy in the UK. And lastly of my miscellaneous items in my bag are my makeup brushes and my tiny little makeup bag. Definitely not an essential if you are not a makeup wearer, but because makeup is still technically my job, I have decided to make it an essential item for me. Just so it means that if I do decide to film any makeup-y videos when I'm away, I can do. And obviously my brushes with me as well. A couple of other things to quickly note which I've actually put into Callum's bag because I have run out of room in mine is a first aid 
aid kit. When I was watching some people's videos, nobody mentioned about having a first aid kit. And to me, this is like one of the most essential things to have. This was one of the first things that I put together when we were planning our trip. And I just needed to make sure that we were gonna be like safe if we needed any tablets or creams or whatever. So I have made that an essential thing. Pretty much all that I have got in my first aid kit is ibuprofen, paracetamol, diarrhea tablets. Um, I've also got these hydration pouches for after you have had diarrhea to get your hydration levels back up. I also have got a big pack of multi-surface antibacterial wipes in there as well at the minute, just for like obviously being in dirty hostels good idea to have with you. I also did end up buying from Amazon some of these water purification tablets, which essentially you're supposed to put these in like a glass of water or a bottle of water, leave them for a while, and then the water should be safe to drink without making you ill. So that's all in my first aid kit. A little bit like your cosmetics and toiletries as well. Sun cream is one thing I really, really recommend taking your own of. I have heard other people saying that in Asia, apparently their sun creams have got like bleaching properties in them to keep you white. People have just basically said that the sun creams are not as reliable and effective no, as our ones. It's because their skin's used to the sun, so they don't have, they don't need stronger sun cream. Well, like yeah, that so. as well final thing which I have put in Callum's bag to take as well is this little fold away backpack. I'm not going to get it out because I will never be able to put it back in here. Basically it's just a spare backpack in case we needed it for a day excursion or anything like that. And I think that is it for my main bag. I think now what I'm going to do is pack the bag, get everything back in the bag, get it sorted and ready. So for a while now I have been unpacking, repacking and trying to sort out different ways of packing this bag effectively. I have decided that the best way for me is to open up the flap of the backpack and quite literally just lay my packing cubes on top of each other. Oh, I totally forgot as well, actually, that inside this backpack there is a little strap which you can tighten the bo bottom layer of clothes with. So I'm just going to do that quickly before I shut the bag. I do feel like it is a bit of a minefield with these bags because you do want to figure out the best way for you. The best thing I like about this bag is the fact that the flap opens the whole way so you can accessibly get everything. That is all of my clothes in the top part and now I'm going to move back onto the bottom part of my bag which will be all my miscellaneous objects and random other bits and bobs to put in. And we are in. And that is my backpack. I also bought a pack of four mini padlocks from Amazon. These are just like TSA approved backpack sized ones. And they fit really well into the zips on the backpack. So if you can see just up here at the top, they have got these little holes on the zips. So you can literally slot it through and secure your bag for whenever you're leaving it in the hostel or whatever. So we can do that on the top and the bottom section as well. Finally, moving on to my everyday hand luggage bag. This is what's gonna be coming on the plane with me. As I said, I am planning on filming and editing and working when I'm away. So my laptop bag is coming with me. Luckily, this laptop case, which is new from Amazon by the way, but it fits really well into the back of my backpack. Obviously my camera, which I'm recording on at the minute, is gonna need its little case. I love the fact that it also has this little front pouch, which I put my batteries in so that they're accessible really easily. And it also has its own crossbody strap as well so that when I'm just on the go filming it can be on my shoulder or across my body and really easy to use. I also just do have my GoPro camera in here with a couple of extra little holds for it and also um, attachments in it as well. I'm not going to get it out because it's all snug in there at the minute but that is coming in my day bag too. I then just have this tiny little mini sized first aid kit for the plane in case I have a headache or want my paracetamol or ibuprofen. Just little essential bits which every day when we go for a walk or a hike or something will be coming in my bag with me. I have heard people say that obviously when you're on the overnight trains or even in just a hostel 
hospital and you want to get to sleep but people in the room are also leaving the lights on an eye mask is a really good thing to have with you so I have made sure of that disposable foam earplugs not the most comfortable but again quite an essential thing for hostels and for the plane if you're trying to get to sleep another thing to note as well is I recommend getting rid of all of your boxes for things take out only what you need and get rid of boxes because it will save you so much room in your packing cubes or in your toiletries bag or in your bags obviously my laptop charger too that goes without saying a hand fan essential for hot hostel dorm rooms and just generally if you're feeling a bit overwhelmed a bit hot a bit stuffy always good to have with you may seem like a silly idea to some but I actually also have with me a little blow up neck pillow and it's obviously not inflated at the minute but you just literally squeeze it to inflate it and then you can like obviously roll it down so it's really small once you don't need it anymore. Tissues, obviously runny noses or if you end up in a toilet with no toilet roll, definitely, definitely want your tissues with you at all times. I have this tiny little red notebook which I actually got gifted from NYX Cosmetics for Christmas this year. Just being able to write down things in the written form as well as being able to write it on your phone, I just think it's a really nice little memory book to have and also with that I am taking a little pen. I have one book which I am not a book reader. I'm so sorry to anyone on here who is an avid book reader and gets through loads in a year. I can't remember the last time I read a whole book but I'm making it my goal for this trip to read at least one book and then once I've read it I can obviously just leave it there for somebody else to read in a hostel or whatever. Anyone who knows me would know as well that I literally love a word search. I take this word search book with me everywhere on every holiday I've ever been on and also so in like queues for concerts and stuff, I literally can sit there and word search forever. So this is definitely coming with me because I'm gonna be doing that on the plane for sure. In my little clear pouch, ready to go through the customs, I also have these hand and body cleansing wipes because I feel like after a really long flight, we are gonna land and just wanna clean ourselves off, cleanse ourselves of the long journey. So hand and body wipes are definitely a good thing to have with you. I also just have a couple of face masks for the plane, but they're coming in with me as well. And then obviously once they're done, I can bin them. A water bottle, I cannot express to you. This probably looks like one of those heavy ones, but these are so lightweight. Everyone has said it's really good to have your own water bottle with you just so you're obviously not carrying around single use plastic ones all the time because when it is hot, the plastic can melt and it also can just like put bad stuff into your water so good metal bottle is really good to have and as well as that i'm going to clip this onto my bag with these carabiner clips i've heard all the other backpackers say that whenever you are going on a travel day and you've been in the sea that morning or you've been in a pool and you've got wet bikinis wet shoes whatever clip everything to your backpack and it can dry off your towel your clothes your shoes your bikinis your swimwear and last but not least is of course my bum bag i am going to have this with me all of the time always around my waist with my money and my phone and my charger and things like that in it so this is definitely obviously coming on the plane with me and I think that is everything and there is everything that I am taking with me on my one-way ticket to Asia thank you so much for watching if you have got all the way through this video I know that I ramble on quite a bit so it's probably really really long I really do hope that you guys can join us on our journey as I said I am going to be doing vlogs here and there but just as and when we've got stuff to do but yeah I really look forward to getting back into YouTube it's been a really a hot minute since I've been committed to YouTube videos so if you have been here before the travel content and for the makeup stuff beforehand then I hope you can stay and if you are new here then please do follow along for our journeys and we will see you on our first stop to Bangkok for New Year's Eve. Peace out. Bye.